Oh man, it's really great to be back in 2015, our year of our Lord 2015, you know. I mean, I feel like I had a weird dream that it was actually seven years later. There was like this weird pandemic that happened and life was just really fucking weird. Isn't and that right, guys? infected everything. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. Is there a point to this? Blueberry still existed. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What year is it? Oh, it's 2022. What the fuck? I mean, I still Sorry, saw. Man. I was in the market the other day and I saw blueberry Frankenberry uh, count. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we sell that at my at the place I work at. So and uh, was fruit fruit always a thing? Because that's a new one yeah, for me. Yeah, fruit used to be a thing. Fruit is thing. By the way, I would like to note that, yes, it has been seven years since we looked at this game, and the original video is one of our most looked at videos, so, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, well, because well, not a lot of people covered this game, I guess. I, I, I oh. guess. Or they just, have, they just have a thing with our very, very green it, take on, on them, commentating on these sorts of things. In case you're wondering, by the way, that video is almost to 20,000 views. Wowies. So, uh, I, I, I'll do my best to add, I'll do my best to add in subtitles later. Why not? This brain man sounds like a complete dweeb. Meet Doctor Neurosis. Like he sounds like a little kid trying to put on a big scary man voice. So what is happening? Go ahead. So unfortunately, his clumsy assistant with hooks for hands. He doesn't have hands. He has claws. Or hooks. Hooks. Beware the hooks. The hooks! God, I love the animation. Oh, yeah, no, it's, oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's our last. So this is animated by one Dave Casnell, uh, or led by anyway, who, uh, as far as... He must rid himself of their little pest. What low pest? Poop. Of a horrible Halloween treat. Oh. We're doing Brain Dead 13 again. This time I'm doing it live, though, as opposed yeah. to last time where I did all post com. Oh boy, which means all the. Because we'll now it means we're going to have a lot of legitimate fuck ups. Yeah. So I'll do my best. And we're going to oh, join every. I can't wait for. I can't wait for that when I do Mario Plus Rabbids. Boy, howdy. Oh. I'll do my best. So, Dave Kessnell, in terms of his. Uh, his resume. He is most notable for being one of the creature and character designers for the Beetlejuice TV show, which Jordy had showed Hype and I. The anime. Yes, series. it is a gem. That makes sense, honestly. So who's this guy? This is Lance. He is a uh, Best Buy guy. He's basically like one of those. Um, <laughs> He's like. What, what do they call the? Yeah, geek or no geek think, squad. What, geek squad. Geek yeah. squad guy. Who came in to help fix this? Who is unknowingly helping the villain? Uh, who's helping the? Uh, who's unknowingly helping the grand uh, megalomaniacal villain with his uh, doomsday weapon? Dude, and wash your hands. Voiced, and he's actually voiced by an animator who, I want to say that animator. Yes, that animator has gone on to work on things such as Enter the Spider Verse. Yeah, they're all they're all voiced by animators. By the way, there are no actual all like, voice actors. Yep. That's I mean, hey, whatever. Good, honestly. I mean, hey, whatever. Oh yeah, they do a great job. Nerosis. You ain't one of those mad, disembodied scientist guys bent on taking over the world, are you? Very self-aware he is. I mean, there sure are a lot of them. Average. <laughs> You know, one thing that's in common with these mad scientist types, very brittle egos. I mean, he's a brain and a TV screen, so... Plus, as a brain, he has his own eyes, his brain stem acts as a hand. I wouldn't say that's too average. Oh, he's picked. Oh, well. And uh, if it lo and if it looks different, whereas last time I was recording using the iOS uh, version, this time, uh, thanks to the one, thanks to the wonderful help of a uh, of this one individual online uh, who runs something called the Collection Chamber Blogspot, uh, since this is technically abandonware, I can actually play this game for free now with DOSBox. Abandonware? Yes, as in the original developers and publishers aren't doing anything else with this game anymore. How are you gonna get out of this, Lance? Technically, you can play without getting any trouble. 
Oh, I love being the Spe Looney Tunes Spe logic. Speaking of getting into themselves into trouble. What's wrong with this cannon? Nope. He hears boom, there's big boom. What's there to get? God, that laughter. Of course, what comes up will eventually have to come down. Crashing oh, down. And he's dead. Roll credits, people. Nah, it's Looney Tunes logic, credits. so of course he still somehow survives that. <laughs> now then. His favorite part of the job. So will it be the player or the doctor? Only what? Only this playthrough will tell. I mean, so in all tuned. fairness, it wasn't us that called him average. It was the funny Galahad guy. Yeah. But th so, I mean, uh, think about it this way: we are going to be taking control of that th that very lo that very geek's fate. Ah, oh, we Lion. control his fate. Is everyone ready for me to hop on into the horror? Yep. Let's do, do it. it. Do it now. Right. So as soon as we start falling down here, we're going to be already... There's Nero's this is a human. Uh, I'm going to be already put immediately to the hot spot. So once again, for anyone who's never seen our previous video, this basically works like almost like an open world Dragon's Lair kind of game. Very big emphasis on the open world because, yeah, no, it's like... It's not just your traditional like A to B sort of uh, arcade's fair. We literally got to go all around the place in order to uh, meet our goal. By the way, so which I, do we go first? By the way, I go, don't know oh, why can't every this way. Every or just time, leave it. <laughs> or can't leave or not. Can we try I'm that again? Up. No, I, I'm just gonna keep on. Oh, it would be go funny ahead, like if you go back out and he's still crashed onto the floor. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. So if you hear a dunk dunk, that's Is me that trying to put in an a input. Picture frame? Yes. So if you hear a dunk, that's me trying to put an input that was a little bit too early. Oh dear. Oh. Oh god. Oh, guy. I do funny. believe I do believe we're in the middle of a recital. That's very yeah. funny. Now, real quick, where were you trying to say that? Every time I look at Fritz, for some reason I think he's animated by the people who animate the gorillas. Because he does look <laughs> like a gorilla side character. Yeah, he really does, kind actually. Of. Actually, no, he he kind that. of reminds me of like a hunchbacked version of a of oh what's his Oh god, hold on. Uh, I mean, in any other universe. Shirt of the band, like literally, I can probably look this up. Uh, Murdoch, that was it. Murdoch. He looks like he looks like a, a hunchback version of Murdoch. Yeah. Oh, ow. Ow. ow! Ow! I'm okay. No, he isn't. So <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, the one of the benefits of being an open world Dragon's Lair game is, I have infinite lives and. I mean... One of the benefits is getting the video game. Again! Oh, it's fire. I need to press fire, not down. So that's the idea. That's how they managed to build it. That's, that's how they managed to sell you this game. It's going to pull a lot of cheap shots, but it's going to justify it. There it goes. By the, it's going to justify it by the fact that... Uh, hello there, dude. Oh, oh we're silent. just in time for the game. That Do you want to make to the sense? goalies? Yeah. Now, anyway, you were saying they justify it by. Oh no! Oops. By giving him an atomic wedgie. My spy. <laughs> oh also, my yeah. God. Yeah, no. Uh, have f have fun witnessing the absolute brutal goriness that is this game. Quote unquote gore, because there's never but any yeah. blood. No blood, but here. it's still fucking dark. Also, I'm only gonna play subtitles the first time a cutscene is played. Thank you. Thank me later, future me editing all this. <laughs> um, no problem. Just be, but, just be uh, careful of how big you make your subtitles. I love how nonsensical his dialogue is there, though. Okay, just now all it, sorts of magic. No, again, it's all, all brawn, of... but no brain. Okay, yeah, but and yeah. yes, it justifies it by giving you unlimited lives because otherwise, a lot of these deaths would be just trial and error of which button you're supposed to push when. They could be very cheap. Yeah, it's like, say whatever you about the Dragon's Lair games and Space Ace and whatnot. I'll at least say with this, this this much for the original Dragon's Lair. They at least managed to uh, make their animations at such a point where you could there's some leeway to figure out what button direction you need to press or what if you need to swing your sword or whatever. Here, that's not quite as obvious. There is no indication 
visible or audible to tell you, the player, what to do next. Right. Right. Yeah. That's the, why the, I'm whatever, like... If there are any clues, they're not subtle enough. It's just push a button or not and subtle. Pray. They're not. They're not obvious enough. It, it's basically trial and error, which is why I had to basically memorize all this stuff. That should be it. And here we go. So it's basically trial and error and hoping I got this. The iOS version tried to fix this by at least adding a prompt whenever an input is needed. But yeah, no, I, I definitely, it definitely makes me appreciate the, the flashing yellow lights of a dragon's lair. Uh, you know, because at least it lets you know, hey, maybe gesture towards this thing. Right. <laughs> Anywho, uh, while I go and hopefully give Moose his comeuppance. All right, um, that's his name, Moose. Moose, yeah. Record breaker. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we got ourselves a trophy, I guess. We're definitely going to be breaking a record. Oh, let's go breaking this way. His head. Alright. Also, for a guy that's mostly known for being a, a tech geek, he's definitely agile. Maybe he's both, you power never know. Of a thousand it's sons. because he's a video game. Oh, ow, ow. Well, I think we just take we've literally just uh, severed Yay. severed the quarterback. Ow. Ow. Oh, right in the groin. Right in the footballs. Oh, oh, oh god. Uh, while yeah, you take care that of again. that, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. It's a good thing that pain so. doesn't exist in this guy's head. Nope. Or uh mortality. <laughs> yeah, he just right, comes back. Right. Alright, and with that, we can now continue. Um so while I go while I go after the first of two witches, because I need to defeat every boss, including these witches, in order to unlock the, the true ending of the of the of the experience. Wait, there's uh, more than one ending. Um, oh. well, no, no, as in like you see back there that rope. An elevator is supposed to be there, but that elevator will not spawn in until uh, you defeat the witches and oh, defeat well. all the bosses. Speaking of witches, human cookery. Human cookery. Uh -oh. I should move out of the way before I get pumpkin bombed like the freaking goblin. How long does she just hover there for you to just prompt, push the prompt? Uh, it's definitely time. Let's move this way. Is it? Like you have to press a button multiple times? No, no, no. So again, it, it's it's just that's the thing is as part of that trial and error. You're supposed to push the button at a certain time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Cat scratched. I'm Magic. <laughs> now let's try not doing it. I like how they they're able to show the other gory stuff, but a cat scratching you. Oh, it's too gruesome to be seen. Which oh, is uh, funny oh, because oh, if, you oh, fail, oh, if you fail the first time that you encounter right, the no, cat, right? Hey, don't don't. I was like, don't tell him. I, I was like, dang it. I was like, don't tell him. I, I'll fail the next time so we can see it. Did you just get scratched by a cat? Oh, multiple yeah. times. Whee! There and there goes the cat. Okay. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'll, I'll show him. I'll show off that death the, the next time. Before we leave, though, we need to go back inside and get ourselves. By the way, an I don't eyeball. think this witch is very good at cooking, considering she still has got corpses hooked to the wall. It, it, it's a pantry. The, the, the pantry's everywhere. So well, what, what do you think prom would prompt hit Lance to just pick up that eyeball out of nowhere? Uh, because it's cool. It's I because it's baller. It's a baller. It caught Thank his you, eye. Thank you, Jody, for acknowledging. Whee! You're welcome. Two, one, off! I don't Power know what that sound effect is supposed to be. You know, like that wham? But I need more of that in my life. Alright, everybody. It's time to see what Dave Kessnell gets up to in his uh, free time. <laughs> in his free yeah. time. <laughs> Who's up for some fan service? Oh, no. A bit hey, of uh, gratuitous baby. fan service, but, you know. Yeah. Only your lips appear. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sugar. Glad you could drop in. I mean, clearly she's a vampire. Oh, of course. This feels very Dragon's Lair esque. Oh, this man. whole game has a Dragon's Lair vibe. So, sweet. Are you in a hurry or something? so wait, was that bat not her? No, it was. No, that was her. That was. That was just oh, her, well, uh, he was looking back as if, wait, where'd she go? Huh? She was oh, over no. there a second ago, right? Oh, another customer. Hold tight, sweetie. Okay. I don't okay. think he. I don't think they're customers. <laughs> and Fritz is like, 
Oh yeah, the lady, she pretty. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Just glances down. Uh -oh. oh, I love this part. Oh, oh god! <laughs> Just the sound. Oh, watch out! Blow away, blow it away. Oh, that was like the most literally... random ass spider. I really don't need a... I know exactly that spider's quite a sucker, so it's a good thing Logan <laughs> blew him away. I like yeah, how right? even he was giving her a look. Uh, Why does D ass? I'm so sorry. I have to say this in front of the microphone. I do not like women with skinny ass bodies and big ass boobs. The only big ass boobs I love are my girlfriend's boobs. And butt. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! Fair enough. Understandable. Thank you. Off to the manicure. So how this does one, this work? It is 100% trial and error. The only symbol I get is which is when her when her fingers like curl. That's when you're expecting an input. That's the only. That's like one of the rare cases where this game will actually give you a tell when you should be pushing something. All of this, it is the exact same sequence of chops, but it is completely trial and error. Thank you, Dave Kessnell. Or Dave Kessnell I mean, sorry. is there a tell on which way she's gonna try and cleave her fingers off? Never. Oh yeah, uh, I know there's a, I know there's a one that'll finish this off, but let's show off the other one that doesn't finish this off right away. Okay, let's hope that it doesn't get that bug. A bug? There is a bug that sometimes if you choose uh, a shave, the game will freeze up. God damn it, really? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, the okay, animators okay. had fun with this part, didn't oh, they? Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> oh, no! Oh! Oh, did I do that? oh shush. Wow. Blood transfusion. But, but she didn't suck the blood! Thank yeah, you. like that's he just chopped his head. That's all. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, but all. Yeah, vampire death. So you know. Right, let's try that again. This time, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ah. You know, at some point, I have to question whether or not she's actively fucking with him, or if she's just ignorant of the fact that he's a human, that he can't actually survive the Uh, they kind of suggest it's the latter. That she doesn't, she doesn't recognize that he's mortal. Or that she, she's been doing this, this. She's been doing this for so long that she doesn't understand that humans die to this. Okay. However, we'll say. If you wait too long, if you wait too long and when she's offering you an option, she'll just get tired of waiting and just fight and drain She'll get you bored right and drain there. Oh dear. Oh boy, talk about a clean like shave. Uh, yeah. Looks like even clean Fritz is neck. in the mood for a shave. Make sure to dodge this bit. Yep, because uh, that, that, thing's a little, that thing's a little rough, even for mortal faces. Though I will so say what? it is funny if you die from that one. Oh, you just become a skull. It just it completely washes your skin off. Yeah, but it's uh, but it's really nice and clean. <laughs> so we're okay. We're almost done with this. So while we watch the end of Vivi and stuff, because uh, don't worry, it's almost over. for you, off she goes. Now quick and make yeah, oh, make your move there because otherwise uh, Fritz would have gotten you. While we're getting, while, while she's getting her comeuppance, while Jordy, she's getting her head yeah. crushed. Yes, uh, Jordy. Oh wait, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, time to move. Uh, Jordy. Yes. Matt, hi, everyone. Uh, what are your guys' experience with uh, the Beetlejuice cartoon? If you've seen it, growing up? I watched it when I was a kid. Oh. I remember vaguely remember seeing a few episodes, but otherwise, I'm not too familiar with it. What? No, I definitely saw it after I saw the Beetlejuice movie for the first time back when I was in college, and I was binging that thing like a boss. So is there like a map to this place, or is it just pick a direction and go wherever? It, it, oh, there, there, it, it is a map. It is the if you pick if you go certain directions from certain intersections, you will always get you always follow the same route. Uh, so here's here here you go, Matt. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything with this cat. Come on. Oh. Whoa. Dang. Delicious meat cubes. Also, he had like 12 years. <laughs> That's a I lot guess. of years. <laughs> But no, uh, for me, I I watched Beetlejuice as a kid. I Not the show, the movie. I love that movie. Uh, still love it. And 
The show, I did watch a few episodes as a kid, and that's all the recollection I have of that show. I know that a lot of people love it, and I probably should watch it again, but all I know is that I watched a few episodes as a kid, but I love that intro. Oh, yeah, that intro oh, just, great. Oh, the bit, oh, the bit where he just, like, wakes up and just, like, like, la the, what was Beetlejuice's actor in that show? Uh, oh, no, no. Stefan something, I think. Here, I'm gonna look it up. No, I'm, ta I'm talking say, about the intro to each episode with the IT'S SHOWTIME! And then, oh, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, yeah, no, the roller coaster, him cackling in the wind as he's, like, being free, yeah. like, it's so good, so... Oh, geez, close yeah, well, what would happen if that witch actually nicked you? Uh, she would, she would jab you, uh, either, either stabbing you in the chest with her broom, or, ah, uh, why not? Oh! If we get caught. Is she ready? Hmm, not quite. Nope. I find it funny anyway, that he's still uh, alive. His name is Stefan or Steven Wemet. Like O U I M E T T E. Have we oh, met before? Oh, French. Huh? <laughs> oh dang it! Oh, not again! <laughs> Missed up. Skip. Oh, I can't skip this bit yet. No, you can only skip the uh, interludes. Mm, yep. But you know, I appreciate that much. Yeah. Now, which one were we going again? Oh, the funny as you're thing about this boss fight is. It's basically, it's literally the first switch that you fought, only flipped, uh, horizontally. Yeah, yeah, it's the, this uh, is where I would think... all the inputs as well. Yeah, it just mirrored. Alright, and then we're back here. Alright, let's I mean, keep moving. We got I mean, it helps them save on it. Helps them save on animation. Yeah. Uh-oh. No! Aw. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just, just wanted to go by it. hug. Ow. I hurt. He dogpiled you on the- He dogpiled you and sent you straight down to hell. You're just going- I hate it. <laughs> Also, for those okay. for those that didn't live in the 90s, uh, Fritz here was actually the poster boy for the whole game. So much so he was yep. literally front and center on the box art. You know, Fact, flashing all of his great not weapons. whoever this guy is. T oh. oh, shit. Oh, okay. He kind of looks like Weird Al, but doesn't he? <laughs> Poor character. <laughs> By the way, the- the, uh, you mentioned that Fritz, technically, if I remember, the full title of the game is Brain Dead 13, feature starring Fritz. Right. Because it's on the box art. Yeah. Also, funny thing about it, too, because technically speaking, Fritz is the correct name for who we usually associate as Igor. Yep. Oh. Fritz is his actual name. Uh, Igor, what, he didn't get the name Igor until the sequel. Uh, it's pronounced Igor. I will hurt you. <laughs> oh, come on. You wouldn't hurt him Hurt him over a silly pillow fight, would you? Uh, no, no. I, I will say, I wouldn't actually hurt you because, to to be fair as well, I, I'm related to somebody in uh, in Young Frankenstein, so... Ow! Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you said you were um, related to... Um... What character again? Uh, Terry Gar's character. I forgot her name, but the lead love interest and all that. The oh, oh no, yeah, Roman Roman Zay. Zay. Uh, that's my grandmother's cousin. Aww. Huh. And they should sadly, I never did meet her. I never have met her again. Your hands. Mm. Oh. Oh, boy, Into the garden. Into the maze we go. We're actually already almost at the end of this game. I've, oh, I've, shit. I've, this is the, yeah, we oh, only got away. Like, three bosses left? This guy and the way, last two? Yeah, that way is the final... That way oh, yeah. is the final champion. Also, I, if I'm I remember correctly... I'm going to show off all the wrong... I'm going to show as many of the wrong ways as I can. If oh I yeah, this is actually worth... Good. If I remember correctly, when we originally played this game, only about the first... Not even half. First third... Oh, shit. Yeah, the first yeah. third of the game was... Um, was the like us actually doing the game and the rest of it was just all the deaths every single yeah one. because Lo because logan actually played professionally and got a little next to no deaths in his run but yeah now i'll show off some of them as i come across them yeah because no like this is definitely where some of the more gruesome uh deaths can come into play now, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go trial and error or is there a yes. hint to where to go there is a hunt. It is still 100% true. I still think Again. that. I still think, if I remember correctly, the wedgie was the worst death in the game, though. Like that one is just. Yeah, that one was pretty bad. Whoop! 
Oh! Oh, what God! What happens to the rest of them? He's wearing a wig, it's confirmed! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you're right. It's just part of the hat. Right. But again, it's, but again, so what I can say about this game's design is th it, there is a set path. It is not randomized. If you push the exact same buttons at the exact same time, you can beat the game. Uh, I'm going to go up. Oh, no, I went too far. <laughs> or, you know, you didn't go anywhere. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make sure. Let's you and but, I gotta, are going to be spending the whole night wrapped up. But, and, and, and there's even and there's and there is even a save system. Again, the only way it's able to justify any of this mess is because you have unlimited lives, unlimited continues. They, the game is designed. If you're playing this blind, the game is designed to, ha to literally have you shoving your head against a brick wall and hoping you actually. Survive. Actually, do the statues in oh, the oh no. hint as to where the spikes? Whoop. I don't believe so. Maybe, maybe there is? Uh, have you been noticing that as a pattern yet, Icky? Yeah, like, you see that sword pointing upwards, you're not supposed to go that way. You see the statue of the urn up there, you're not supposed to go that way. Oh, so don't go the direction they're facing. Is that true? Maybe? I don't know. Only one way to find out. There's a statue pointing down, so I'll run in the direction of where the statues are facing. Statues never hmm. lie. Yeah. Oh. Goddamn spike huh. traps. Dang it. I guess that's supposed to be the hint? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit further because I don't wanna I don't wanna be spending all of our time looking at tests in here. I know there's I know one there's... particular I want want and looking to show off, because that one in particular is pretty like if you this it's what happens when you try to brute force a hedge maze. <laughs> so let's, let's see if we can find it. Let's go this way. Do you wanna go left here? Oh hi death. Surely the knight hi. knows the way. Okay, that was the correct way. Yeah, okay, let's try going up. Hmm. There oh, it is! There we go. Oh, his, his, his finger me. remained. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't brute force the maze. Alright. So that's what that does. That sounds pretty you. amazing. Okay, just for that, now I'm just gonna beat this. Let's just go. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I will say. Sorry, uh, sorry my hi. puns are pretty brain dead. Uh. I, now there's no the statues. Uh, Jordy, now that you're actually joining us this time, uh, what are your what's your thoughts on these kind of games? These like F and V playable cartoons. It is pretty suspenseful, I'll give you that. But at the same time, I also think this is an interesting form of a uh, of video game style with its animation and whatnot. It's really interesting. I'll nice keep shoes. this death in because I'll, I'll keep this death in because this is one of my like most like like this is the one that looks the most uncomfortable to me. Ow. Don't worry, he'll live on through his hand and the sludge. Who's to say that, you know, all that sludge... Like, who's to say that he's actually being brought back to life or it's just a plant-based clone? Yeah, oh, I was God, thinking I that, like too. That. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. <laughs> you know, folks, this would be around the end of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Left. You know, that, uh, that uh, up ankle shot of the statue... I love how the gargoyles by his feet make it look like he's wearing really fancy crocs or shoes. Oh, you, you make me sick! Ah! Oh no, no, not again! Whoop. I will say this place has one of my favorite, like, funny deaths. I oh the one the one where he sticks around too long on the no, no. when he fails to jump onto the ledge and just smacks into it. Oh, oh in fact, I can think you could do it here. <laughs> <laughs> What a champ. Right oh. in the family jewels. No, not even in family jewels. No, this he hit his gut. face and his teeth. Yeah. It's like he's a Super press Mario. The... Yeah, press the fire button the second Super time. Mario. Grab it. No. Press the right button. Who would make then press sick right... me? Then press right again, because we don't want to leave. Every... That's the thing. Every area actually has two endings, depending on which way you go. So what happens if you go into that fish head? You will, uh... Oh. I missed! 
Uh, it, it basically you can you have the chance of being thrown back at the, the, the you can actually jump in the hole at the base of the statue and you'll emerge from a fountain in another intersection like everything is all connected oh so you make uh, yourself lost again yeah pretty much you have to redo all your progress but I don't want to do know, that it would be so... easier if you could just stomp on him Mr. Big Statue Man here yeah. here this here this here is one of my favorite uh, deaths squish stupid dog you go squish now oh yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. I, I realize there's a lot of my favorite deaths, but uh, you know, it's like the game's built around them. I mean, that's it's how. Like it's how many to times be. can we physically? Oh no! I get thrown. Oh, this guy. dinner boy, time. Been my oh, whole life boy. Like okay, let's be careful and not do that again. Gosh dang, oh. man eating plants. Man. Oh, man. Plant eating mats. Right, drop down. What's that you say? Ham eating ants? Hold that cord to turn it off. Oh, I've got oh, to. Not again. <laughs> oh, ow. Slosh. Okay. Drop down. But rest assured, yeah. folks, we are very much close near the end of the game. So after this, we're heading on. Oh, ooh! Hang Thanks on far. tight! There it is. Off he goes. Made it. And that oh. isn't a death. Yep, because we escaped. Let's go this way. You know, I'm going to show off a little bit more of this uh, house since we're actually pretty close. Okay. Like, oh, like the, the trophy room. Areas. What's funny is that some of these areas actually have uh, two two sets of um, scare like um, scare factors, depending on which way you're heading to. Like this like room. If you, like, yeah, in this room, for example. Um, if you went... Oh, God. It's just in you. Like, you go through the window, the, little, the flames of hell will reach for you. But if you go through the door... A random Barney the Dinosaur Reject will try to cook you up. An alligator. Right, it was an alligator. Yep. Here, it's easy. Just press right and just leave. Say no thank you. <laughs> he kisses him on the butt. And then we just go. Go to the right. Okay, so where do we go now? Oh, I don't think I remember. I don't remember seeing this one before. Uh, hello, hello, friendly tide. Goodbye. I'm dead. Well, that oh, happened. No. That that it? one really bugged me. Mm. Yeah, it's like it just comes out. <laughs> and you all wonder Who made why that sound? Never... What was that sound? <laughs> that was me going. Hmm. <laughs> oh. And you all wonder why Centipede's such a niche oh. franchise. Ow. Oh. Okay, so it's fire and then fire again. I think. I wonder what human tastes like. Oh, don't well, don't well, don't well, actually ask special. that. <laughs> Well, okay. according to some we'll specialists, the funny tone. well, according to some specialists, they taste like. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I... oh, there's Vivi's again. Oh, we're here again. Oh, what happens if you go into the door? You would just uh, trigger a, something else. I don't know, something weird. Uh, Can you redo the boss? Uh oh, That's... that. Oh no. Oh god. Not scrambled eggs! No, uh, just... Hold on, I ain't done with you yet! Wait, that, I was right! It that's was a wig! Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens if you spend too long in one spot. You gotta make sure you're constantly moving. Uh, but yeah, you can, What's you... funny is, he has multiple versions of, like, how to kill, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lance. Lance? Yeah. Alright, so here. Which fun Now, if you visit last any... name is Galahad. So now if you huh. visit any witch tower, I now that we defeated you. every boss, a mysterious elevator appears oh. now. And I'm going to take it down, because that's going to take us to the final confrontation. Ooh. Hope y'all like Donkey Kong. Eh. Oh, boy. Because this game does not have Donkey Kong. No. Eh. Donkey Kong. Now, does this change depending on which elevator you take? Because no. it could technically appear in the other one, too. No, this is completely different. And ha! Watch the rug. Watch the watch the rug as it climbs right, right up to the top. What's that do? Where's it going? Where will it go? Nobody knows. It's got some place to be. It's going wherever the rug is. And wait a minute, I'm at the top of the. I'm at the rug. Oh. There he oh. goes. And goes down the whole on his way. Random thought, is, sock puppet. Is, is, the, is the Beetlejuice show available on any streaming service right now? It's got bowling pins, It's funny, a fish, I was just talking to my girlfriend about that. We're trying to find out where 
we can get it from. But as far as I know, I find... the most is probably a physical copy that you could either get on Amazon or a local store, you know, whichever. Oh, okay. Oh no, we has got a chainsaw now. Oh boy. Now it's a Fight! Now it's a true battle of the Nimrods. They were truly made oh, for no. each other. Oh, and you, oh, 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 ow, yeesh. You really thought that was gonna work. Oh, oh I missed it. What was the bet? I got chainsawed to bits. Ew. Let's see how far we that. Let's see how far back that puts I me. I think that starts all the way back to the beginning. Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh, thank God. Sword fight. Okay, thank goodness. Because I definitely yeah, remember, I remember the check, like the checkpoints of this particular segment being very, very few far apart. I've had. Uh -oh. No. Not again. Ow. And this is the and this is the appropriate reaction to Ethan Winters trying to block a fucking chainsaw with ah. his arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't get why. Ah! <laughs> Again, I I Man, if Ethan Winter could survive getting his hands clawed off or like chopped off. Oh, I think <laughs> again. again. Again, as so as soon as I can get past him, it's like fire you have to like hit the fire button, fire button, fire button and then left, but I need to jump over him. So, at first Sorry, there's a little bit of trial and error, folks, but we're almost there. You're doing it's as if it's been the entire game thus far. Yeah. I mean, we're at the we're literally at the last third. After this, we're, it's all going to be smooth sailing. There we go. Okay, we're good. Nice. Let me take this club. <gasps> keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, get right ready for a little bit of repetition here. Also, I, I, he hops up those stairs is really funny to me. Oh, yeah, no, I love this. <laughs> You can literally add any sort of oh, oh. bye. Ow! <laughs> Ow! They actually showed the they actually showed the pole, but oh, okay, it, has, good. it starts here. Yeah, there goes. Yeah, it has this sort of like this. Alright, so yeah, fire then counter attack. Alright, here we go. <laughs> mm. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, not again. Damn it, Logan. I pressed the wrong button. It we are starting to, we're going to have to start playing a drinking game every time. Talk you... amongst yourselves while I die endlessly. Okay, <laughs> fine. How's everyone doing? I don't know. Okay. I just died. I mean... <laughs> okay, uh, Steven, I how are you doing? I've been dead inside for years. Let me ask Steven. <laughs> how are you doing? Steven. Okay, I guess. Okay, uh, can you tell me what your favorite candy is? Reese's. Okay. Reese's so good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love the Reese's like pumpkins and trees that they started leaving a hockey I stick. love I, the Reese's pumpkins, I will, especially the white ones. I will say, Ooh, my good. favorite candy will, my favorite version of Reese's Puffs will always, not Reese's Puffs, of Reese's will always be uh, the uh, Easter ones. I don't know why. The, the pumpkin ones are good, but like the pumpkin shaped ones, but I don't know why. It's like the egg shaped ones, like during the oh, Easter the egg time. Ones? I love those oh, yeah, ones. no, the egg shapes are great. But just any of the ones that aren't peanut butter, all the ones that are not cup shaped, because I feel like the peanut butter to chocolate ratio is so much richer in those. Oh, yeah, it is. What about you? What's your favorite uh, candy? Jordan? Oh, that's right. You have a hook. Oh. I also love Reese's. I have a wig. Oh God, the wig. I also love yes, Reese's. They're beautiful. But Ooh. I also like uh, dark chocolate with sea salt and caramel. Classic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I know people are gonna give me flack for this, but you know what? I don't care. I'm under the minority. That candy corn is good. I like candy corn. Thank you. You're welcome. I admittedly never got the appeal of candy corn. I don't like candy corn all that much. Fuck off! I'm not saying I'm against it, I just don't understand it. It's like, what is your deal? What is candy corn even made of? Uh, I think corn? it's like wax and sugar. You mean but, uh, and, and before any of you guys say, well, why would you want to eat wax? All candy has wax in it. All of it. Did not know that. Down you go. In fact, in fact, you want to know why chocolate bars do not melt? Wax. So what you're telling me is that I'm eating wax? For the most part, yes. Man, and I thought my diet sucked hard before. Jose, is that why M&Ms melt in your mouth and not your hand? No, it's because it's a candy shell. 
Happy Halloween, everybody. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah. Halloween. We're, I think we're going to be I think posting this, I, this at Halloween, yes. I mean, if I can add my two cents. Yeah, go for um, it. My favorite candy is not necessarily Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but peanut butter cups in general that use, like, actual peanut butter and cream for oh. something instead of, like, that chalky-ish peanut oh, butter yeah, like... substance that they use in, the peanut, like, Reese's. Heck, like, sometimes I'll just improvise and take, like, a There's bit of peanut one. butter and stick it on, like, a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> I think that's fair. Also, it this is good. also this is the final uh, bit of this weird. Uh, this, this is the final bit of this. Oh Thank no, goodness. he's got a windshield wiper. Hammer. Heaven. Go, Nico. <laughs> Stop. Moment is Hammer so, time. Mo moment's so great. All right. All right. Dr. Time for Minosis. the curtain call, and it's all in. Darkness. A CG chamber. Yeah. There you are. It's all in that computer room from The Incredibles. Hmm? It's just me and you. What was that? I can't hear You're you. on the way over there, and I'm over here. By, by the way, uh, overcompensating much? I mean, how many vil how many villains layers does a guy need? Especially in this piece you know, of this. It's... <laughs> That close-up of the brain before... Oh, hold on. Oh. He's... He's holding no bars this time. He is salivating over the prospect. Oh, my. You better be careful. So this we're going to go this to part the... part cracks me up, too. So we're going to go to the left, and then I'm gonna actually going to go back to the right. Because we Why? have a little... Because we have a little plan to position ourselves you between the two of us. Hey there. Kiss ass. So no, um, <laughs> that sh that shot of the brain like staring at the camera. The first thing that comes to mind is that shot from Cook. Uh, that clip from Futurama where Bender is explaining on TV is like, "Have you ever tried sitting oh, down with your children and hitting them?" <laughs> and then later it's like Calculon uh, comments, but insert like five reaction <laughs> pictures of me and we'll call it a deal. Wait, it's just cause like this random picture of him like on a on hey, those chair on a cruise. I, man, Lance has a lot of confidence just to be able to, you know, be right there front and center of all his shots, realizing Fritz is a shit shot. And just like that, we've done it. I mean, it's like he's all attack and no brain. And just like that, we've done it. Get in there. Uh oh, you two truly belong together. Yeah, in the in in the, in the sewers. Flush him down. Bye bye. And another threat to the world is safe once again. Yep, the day was saved thanks to Lance and his stroke of heroism and luck. Thanks to Lance and his amazing pants. What? Lance that too. and his amazing pants. Granted, he does have amazing pants. Because something's got to hold down that warty butt. Do you have to press the button here? Not really. Except yes. yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Except you do. Otherwise, you will literally die right then. But don't worry. The developers aren't complete dicks. They put a checkpoint right before that moment. But yes. No, I find it funny. Is like, okay, we've thrown every we've literally thrown everything we can at him except for the <laughs> So all you have to do is literally doesn't matter what button up, left, down, right, fire. Just they press just, a button. Just press one last button just to make sure you're awake. Wait for it. Yeah. And you're you're there still it is. playing this, right? And that's it. Like, it's just nonsensical that we did it. Game's won. Hooray! Castlevania fades into memory once more. <laughs> yep. Another and day the guitar riffs right back to his uh, 9 to 5. Excellent. I suppose that's fair. Uh, before we get to the credits, uh, uh, D Dave Kessnell, could we get one final Easter egg uh, cameo of you for the kitties? Just, no, I'm asleep. Just my son is very deathly allergic to bats, so please don't be a bat. Well, guess what? I'm a bat! Ah! Oh no, that's also, pretty I bad. Pencil in his ear. Anyway. The end. The end. So there you go, everybody. Uh, that was uh, that was uh, Brain Dead 13. Uh, hype! I'm so sorry. There was so much going on, back and forth, and stuff like that. Uh, was there? What are your thoughts? Just please, any thoughts you have now that we finished its commentary one more time? 
you don't have to apologize. I'm kind of used to it a lot of times. But it, it looks fun. I like the animation. It, it definitely has its own... Like, even though it's clearly trying to ape off of something like Dragon's Lair, I appreciate that it still has, like, its own distinct personality on top of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it is funny to think about, too, because, like, this was, like, a, about a, what, a ten-year difference between this and, like, all those F&B games from back in the day. Like, this is pretty much just its own homage to that era. And as as one, I, I'd say it's still, it's definitely got its fun moments. Even yeah. if, yeah, no, there's still a lot of trial and error, you know, packed in as well. And unfortunately, it's pretty bad about that, <laughs> by comparison. I will but again, having infinite continues, a save feature, infinite lives, if you had to do all of this with a game over thing, like in Dragon's Lair, then it yeah. would be absolutely, like, unbearable. It would be bad. So, Not uh, to mention, we've been playing this for under an hour, so... Oh, yeah, yeah no. That's how they... That, again, I feel like that's how they get your money's worth, is you're just constantly trial and erring. But, but I agree, it's, it's a bit of a bummer that it's basically you have to write everything down, memorize the button inputs, and there's no real tell to it. It's just... You just... Memorization. It's just on there. Yeah. Push button and braid does something. Uh, what do you think of this again, Mad? Now that's been seven years. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, I still like this game. I still think it's fun. It's stupid. Okay, well, what do you think about fun. those mushroom sketches? Uh, what do you think about that brain? Pretty brainy. It's fun. He was. How do you think he, about he, that guy. He real. That brain really was sure. average. And uh, I guess. Uh, between James and Joy, do you guys have any closing thoughts? I guess even Joyce is up. I, I forget if she was there with us the first time we went through this. I wasn't there for you, uh, like, all those years ago when you first got through this. Because I think I was, you know, in college and I had only just met you around that That's time. True. But, mm -hmm. um, from what I've seen from this and, you know, when you were trying it out after, what was it, seven years? Yeah, I think so, Seven yeah. years. Yeah. I basically, uh, what do you call it? I honestly enjoyed this. I love the style of this game. It's witty humor. The voice acting is very campy, but still very enjoyable. And it makes me want to watch Beetlejuice cartoon again. Sign me up, please. <laughs> yeah, I think this should be fun. I gotta get back to that again. And you have it's a very goofy game. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, we, oh, that's right. We missed the worm. That's right. Yeah, I, I did miss that part. Uh... I mean, you also missed the alligator chef. That is true, because I went in different directions, and I guess that's your replayability there. But, uh, but yeah, no, this, this definitely has, like, the gnarly 80s, like, horror uh, vibe to it. Mean. 90s uh, horror vibe to it, where it's, like, almost like like Surfer Rock with monsters. Like it, That's, like, your the Monster Mash. You know, if the Wayne's monster World mash. invaded uh, Dracula's the castle mash. during the Monster Mash. Yeah. The monster Mash. Uh, any any thoughts on this? Has, has any thoughts on this changed, James? Now that we did this one live? Eh, not necessarily. I, I mean, I'll, I'll still say it's a it's a it's a grand old time, even even with its problems aside. Like it, it's definitely one of those that's at least worth a watch. Yeah. Yep. I don't know I how. Mean, this is my first time commenting on the game with you guys. So... Would you like to join the Siki for if we ever tackle the other? Mascot was Finnegan, thank you. Oh, crap. Who's who, Finnegan? Who, I don't know. Who is the guy who animated Dragon's Lair? Uh, Don Bluth. Don, Don Bluth. Bluth, thank you. I kept thinking of Well, Roll he was the guy that had the spirit of the whole project, so... Oh, yeah. no, say, because uh, it's not as fun. Ro you know Roll Dahl any, you know? did many different things. Roll Dahl? Yeah, that's, right. what, that's what Logan said. He the name was... kept flashing my head, even though I know he's the book writer. <laughs> wow. But, uh... Okay. Uh, all right then. Fine. Uh, Icky, would you would you even join us for Dragon's Lair Two, the weird one? The, the fucking, weird the one. Fucking, the, 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 one the, the fucking funny. the fucking drug tripped Dragon's Lair game. Because that one's kind yeah, of funny. Yeah, and that's that, and that's its official subtitle. It, Matt, Dragon's Lair Two, the weird one. Yeah. The only thing I'll say if I ever decide to do time warp again is that I'm definitely having those guides on because that game is next to impossible to play without them. So hey, James, Sam, what do you think about bye. that thing? <laughs> Just, bye. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Okay, any other closing statements? Fucking moon us. Moon us by the end of the credits, like, don't you? And yeah, all right, well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue this conversation a bit off screen. Uh, thank you all so much for watching our little wackadoo return to dra to Brain Dead 13. We, we, uh, dragons, dragons dead. Dragons dead. Dragons, dragons dead, everybody. Job's done. Uh, we'll, we'll get. We'll, we'll return to these uh, Don Bluth you know, games. No, stop. It's like I'm a preview. Not thinking about it. Is there an actual dragon in Dragons there? Or are you fighting in, against some other? In the guy? first one, yes. 
Okay, but not in the second one. Oops, not second in the one second was one. The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, that's something we can ta tackle uh, another time. Uh, that all said, uh, that's it for Brain Dead 13, everybody. And we'll see you all next time. Oh, and uh, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. It was the spooky splash. Goodbye. What do you mean that was seven years ago? Ah!